So it's a new year and many of you are probably going into the gym for the first time to live up to your New Year's resolutions. Good on you. One of the mistakes I commonly see for new beginner lifters out there, and honestly, even some intermediate lifters too, is using the wrong barbell for the wrong exercises. Today, in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to identify your bars and how to choose the right bar for the right reason. Yo, what's cracking, Kuma Corporation? Welcome back to another video with me, Professor Bubs. Uh, the bar I have with me right here is actually a Rogue Echo bar. And this bar is something that's quite versatile. Uh, you can use this bar for a lot of different exercises. Uh, but primarily these bars are going to be good for training the Olympics, right? So, you know, your clean and jerk and your snatch. So these bars are not going to have as aggressive knurling. And they're also going to be about like a medium kind of width. So you, while you can bench press with these bars, I would advise against it uh, because for, for the bench press, you're going to not want the bar to whip as much. With these bars, try to use these for things like squats, things like front squats, overhead squats, cleans, snatches, uh, stuff of that nature. Now here I've got a power bar and this bar is going to be for, you guessed it, power lifting. Uh, this is also by Rogue. This is the Rogue Ohio Power Bar. And the knurling on this bar is gonna be a little bit more aggressive. It's gonna give you a better grip. And so with this bar, as you could probably imagine, you can do the power lift. So squats, bench, and deadlift. Uh, this is also known as a stiff bar. So it is a bit harder to deadlift with this bar. And for that reason, there is another bar I wanna show you right after this. So this bar I have right here is a deadlift bar. And these bars, uh, you're gonna notice that they're longer than a traditional barbell. The bar itself is also gonna be a bit smaller. Uh, the circumference is gonna be smaller. So these bars are gonna be a lot easier to grab. And also these bars are gonna whip a lot more than a stiff bar. If you don't know what whip means, basically the, you know, the bar is going to bend a lot easier than it would on a power bar. Now for this bar, please just use this bar for deadlifting. Don't use this bar for anything else, especially not squats and bench. With those two exercises, with those two movements, you don't want your bar to be whipping around like crazy. You don't want it to look like a limp noodle. It's gonna be really dangerous for you uh, if the bar is whipping around a lot on your back. Really dangerous for you if the bar is whipping around a lot in your hands for the bench press. So just use this for the deadlift. Now, chances are you don't go to, you know, a specific like powerlifting gym or Olympic weightlifting gym or bodybuilding gym, whatever, and you just go to a commercial gym. If that's the case, uh, don't be afraid to go ahead and ask the gym staff, you know, what kind of bar is what. Easiest way to tell what kind of bar it is, is actually just looking at the, the end cap. So for example, you can just look at the end cap right there and it will tell you what kind of bar it is. If your gym staff doesn't know what kind of bar it is. It's not abundantly clear on the end cap. You can just go ahead and Google the name of the bar and look at the specification sheet and they'll tell you its intended uses. There's also a lot of other kinds of bars out there, like squat specific bars. Those bars you'll be able to identify because they're going to be a lot thicker than a normal barbell. There's also stuff like trap bars, safety squat bars like this one, and axle bars like this one. For your purposes, you're probably not gonna be using any of those. Uh, you're probably just gonna be sticking to uh, regular barbells like your power bars, your Olympic weightlifting bars, or your deadlift bar. Hope that helps. If you have any specific questions, you can go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Catch you all in the next video. Peace.